Hi guys, how are you? Um, I just finished doing legs, so I killed my legs. I'm tired. A long day preparation. Hubby is coming back in like nine days, so I'm very excited. So as I promised, I am going to do a couple of workouts, um, which has to do with your abs. And in addition to what you already are doing, um, that's my mom back there. Oh gosh. That's my mother. <laughs> she was working out with me. And of course, the little one. But anyway, I, I'd say that I, w I wanted to do a video so that just to kind of show you what you can do extra besides doing your P90X or Insanity or Shailene so that you can just add more. And since this week we're doing work um, apps and we're working our apps every single day. So let me show you. It's just a combination of, again, beach body apps. And I'm just gonna show you, you know, the little things that I do. So let's go. Hopefully you can see me from there. Here's one, um, which is Russian twist. And you guys know this move. Um, hopefully you can see me good. So you grab a dumbbell and you try to do at least 20 reps. I'm not going to do 20 reps, I'm just going to show you the movement because I just finished doing my workout and I don't feel like doing more. I don't want to overdo it, so I'm going to be more pushing. Oh, this is much better. So, this is how you do it. Either you can... Leave your legs on the floor. Mommy, estoy grabando. Either you can leave your legs on the floor or lift them. So you go like this. You touch that. And you do 20. Make sure your form is correct. And you're going to feel it. And breathe. And keep going. So, that's one movement. If you can add the weights, then you can just do like an ADX. But for more, grab the weight and go back and forth, back and forth. And do 20 at least. I have a, some 12. This thing goes dark anyway. The other one that you can do and this one doesn't have any weights, but you can still do it. It's gonna work. It's like P90X, but this is the P90X2 version. So you lay back, put one up, and you come on like this. And you do as many reps as you can. 20 is a good number, so you can do two sets of the same and being 20, okay? Like I said, I'm not gonna do the whole thing because I just finished doing ups. So, another move that you can do is the plank. So plank, there is, is completely a beast. So you can go like this, so you can see me. That, right? You go like this and you do as many as you can. This works your obliques. And do it. And do it. Every seven reps. Then another one that you can do too uh, is this one. I think it calls bucket drop, something like that is from the body beast. So you get like this, right? And you come down, down, down. And do, if you can do 20, 
You a beast. See? That one works your entire core. That's one. Sorry about my mess. All right. So here's another one. If you're at home and you are in your living room, you can use your couch as a way to support you. So you come here, hold your feet with your couch. You can either drop the dumbbell and do this with the dumbbell. You can go like this and twist, twist, and twist. All right? So, or I got my plates. They're 10 and 10. You can grab them both and you can go like this. See? And you can do 20. And this will work your abs real good. You can go like this and come up. Some people can do it, some people won't. So don't force yourself or just go like this and come up and twist. And twist. So that's just that. Uh, another one that you can do to help you, you can grab. All right, this thing goes dark. So that's why I'm always gotta come up. So you grab, if you have your plates or even your dumbbell, if you have a dumbbell, you can get up and go like that, put this down. Uh, these pants are going somewhere. So, you get up and you go to the side. Working your chichos right here. Your chichos, which is hard to get rid of this love handles. See that? That's one, one of my biggest struggles. So, or you can grab your plates and go to the side. And again, I have my obliques are here. So this is one, one of my struggles. And you go down. So the next one is actually a P90X2 move from their core um, workout which is back to core. And I think this is a beast. This is not fun, but it's good though. All right, I'm moving my dumbbells. Let me see if you can see me. Um, you get like this. Let me see. Let me see if I remember. Hold on. It's like this. You go like this. Like this. And then you come like this. See that? Go like that. There you go. You come like that. There you go. And then you come like that. And you do it again. And you come like that. So. You can do 20 and 20 per size. And then last but not least, my daily oblique routine. I really need my, my belly to get tighter, tighten up. And you guys know I have kids, so my stomach stretched twice. So even though if I want to have very flat, flat abs, 
I continually have to work hard on it and watch my nutrition because if I don't, then you can see. So that's one of my goals and that's why I'm doing apps. But anyway, here's my last but not least. I love this one because it helps my obliques. So you either go like this, stay like that, and go down and up. Go down and make sure that you get your core tight and drop your butt and come up. And come up. This is gonna help you with your core. And try to come up. I do that almost every day because it's good for you. So that's it. Hopefully. It will help you and I hope you can find some value into it and I don't know I don't expect you to do it all but do one two three four of those movements and add it to your apps uh, routine it will help you my goal is to have a six packs <laughs> by the summer and I mean it I don't know if I'm gonna have four three <laughs> five but I want my abs to be tight. And I am willing to work hard. And I hope you do the same. All right? Bring it. Bye, guys. Do the best and forget the rest. And be patient with yourself. Okay? Bye. It is possible you can do it. I trust you.